I remade my build and this one is even better. So the first build, I was under the impression that when you get to the city and you do your Gatorade workouts, you are going to get plus four to all of your physicals, your speed, your stamina. So that's why my stamina was at 87, which isn't bad, but I was planning on another plus eight attributes to get me to 95 for stamina. But now that I know you don't get the plus four, I've redone it. I have 92 stamina. But look at the rest of this build. I still have the 90 speed, 90 acceleration. I'm now six foot five. I have seven finishing badges and I'm going to be able to get ankle breaker hall of fame and quick first step hall of fame. When I get to 99 overall, those badges will be hall of fame. Even though right now on the list, you're seeing that those badges are listed as gold. And I'm going to prove that this is going to be like that in a second, but I'm still going to have hall of fame deep threes. For finishing, you don't want to have your shot close at 25. Even though I'm a point guard and I'm not really going to be doing layups under the rim, sometimes you might get an offensive rebound or sometimes you find yourself there. If you have a 25 rating, you're going to miss almost every single time if somebody is around you. So now I have a 36 rating. When I'm 99, it's going to go up to 40. That's decent. And then my post control at 70 means if I'm going up against a smaller point guard, I can do post fades. I can bully them. I still have the 94 three ball. Look at my defense. I have interior defense now, which is good in case I get switched with a mismatch. I'll be able to put up a little bit of a fight. I'm going to keep the same takeovers for now. Obviously, once I unlock all my badges, I'll play around and see what I want to run with. I might go double ankle breaker. But let me show you the proof that this build is crazy. When I'm 99, I'll unlock every dunk in the game, all the contact dunks. Now it says I'm like John Wall, John Morant, and Baron Davis. So when you go to test the build, Look at this, at 99, the ratings aren't changing. It still says I have a 90 ball handle and a 90 speed with ball, nothing changes. But when we go to the badges, you're gonna see that Hall of Fame is now on the list for ankle breaker, it's in the back. With my other build, I could only go up to gold, but here it's gonna be possible to go to Hall of Fame. Same thing for quick first step. You need a 94 rating, so you have to have 90 dribble, and 90 speed with ball if you wanna be able to get those Hall of Fame, and I have that now. So when I get to 99, I get to celebrate with the Hall of Fame badges that I want. I still have Hall of Fame clamps. I really only need that. I don't really care about the other ones because there's no Intimidator this year. So even though I went from six badges to five, this is still gonna do it for me and get it done. I'll have one extra to throw on Pickpocket or maybe Interceptor. And now for finishing, I have one extra badge. So I can still get the gold posterizer and then I can get Hall of Fame for something else or maybe go gold or maybe go two more badges at silver. I have a lot of options, six foot five. I'm loving this build and let me show you the proof. This is before I upgrade my player at 60 overall. When I go to the badges, now it does have the purple for Hall of Fame in the back. If you look at my previous build, when I was upgrading the badges, it only goes up to gold. So this was a beautiful change. Now I was gonna run this build on PS5, but look at this cheese. My PlayStation 5 says that it's too hot when I'm trying to play the game. You see that I'm in the middle of making a build and it just gives me this screen. And even if you say, okay, it keeps coming back up. So I just went ahead and remade this build on Xbox. I'm gonna get another PS5, it's coming from Amazon. Maybe that one won't be botched. I feel like I just got unlucky with this one because if this was a widespread issue, you would be seeing it everywhere, but I'm not seeing this anywhere else. So maybe that was just a dud of a console. I'll see what happens later, but I'm ready to continue my series on Xbox. The videos tonight will probably come out late. This is the reason for my delay, but here we go. Whew. Now, most people on the outside won't see it, but this, my friend, is where the draft begins. Sucha? Mm hmm Messaging is everything. Okay, so is there a wrong choice here? Think of it like a spectrum. One end, you got Russell Westbrook, loud on and off court. On the other, you got Kawhi, quiet on and off court. Are you one of them or are you in the middle? What you decide will help teams get an idea of what you're really all about. Are you ready, Junior? Yeah. You ready, Junior? Yeah. Let's do it. Beautiful choice.
We'll put this together and have it for you right away. Thank you. Listen, Art. I've had a chance to bring it up and it's so good I already know. You do? Yeah. Harper and the team were in a top sports agency for a reason. They contacted me as soon as they contacted you. You're not upset? Why would I be? Someone take a meal. I want you to. Root out the specifics. Look, just because you sign with them doesn't mean we're a done deal. We can all work together. Okay. I'm gonna tell you the plan first. Here's the line. Oh. We beat to rap. I'm the associate agent, so when you sign with the agency, I'll be here to support Harper on the day-to-day. -day. I'm sorry, I completely spaced on your name <laughs> walking in. It's fair, you have a lot going on. It's Layla. Layla. Layla, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Have a seat. Yeah, yeah. Junior, hello. So excited to have you here. <laughs> I'm Harper Dell. Thank you so much for coming down to hear our pitch. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. Yeah, and thank you for taking the time out to meet me. Absolutely. This is the moment. You have worked your entire life to get here, and we are here to support you in that journey to the next step where you start getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to tell you, we have the deepest roster of NBA talent in the world and brand partnerships with every company you can name. Our goal is long-term. <laughs> we wanna create lifelong relationships that keep you living large now and comfortable in your retirement. In these notes, already rests the shoe contract of your dreams. <laughs> you ever thought about acting? No. I, <laughs> I never really considered it, but I'm, you know, I'm into it if it makes sense, yeah. Multiple commercial offers and scripts for interesting indies that will help groom you for bigger projects once you get your feet wet? Um, all of that sounds really good to me. Yeah, but right now I just want to focus on the draft, solidify my position, and you know, find the team where my skills fit best. Well, we have relationships with all the teams. We can gather intel to get you the private team workouts that you but want. maybe not the exact team I want to play for? Anything is possible. But it is still a draft where teams can and will do what they see fit for their organization. Okay, so that's a no. <laughs> Chaos exists. We try and mitigate that for you, but it does exist. And I'm not going to lie to you just to get you to sign. I want us to start off in a place where we can be honest with each other. You know what? This is feeling way too formal. Way too formal. Hang on. <sighs> That's better. Much better. <laughs> <laughs> so I grew up in the Salinas Valley. It's about two hours south of San Francisco. John Steinbeck was from there. Do you know it? Uh, no, not that area <laughs> That's specifically, okay. no. <laughs> My parents died when I was young, so my grandmother raised us on her ranch. We grew broccoli, lettuce, cauliflower. It was not glamorous, but we worked and survived. And Layla? Oh, I was uh, raised right down the road from you in Union. Oh, so as you represent. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Um, my dad bailed on us when I was three, and my mom did everything in her power to make it work. We know what it's like to want more. We willed ourselves to be where we are, just like you did. There's a vision for you here. Jordan, LeBron, a bigger corporate vision. Companies love them because their messaging connects to the public across all demographics. And that's how we want to position your endorsements going forward. Universal appeal. Okay. But it, it feels like there's a catch coming. No, there's no catch. There is a little reality. Archie, he's a good guy, and we know that he brought you here, which is why we want to provide him with a generous finder's mm -hmm. fee as a parachute. But for us, we need you free and clear of all old attachments. Your future depends on an uncluttered vision. All new NBA players have to go through these difficult transitions. So it's you guys or him? From our perspective, it's just the way it has to be. You should hear what he has to say. Maybe he really is the right fit for you and for your vision. But for us, it's one or the other. I don't like it. Not 
one bit. We're fine. I'm not afraid of a little competition. But her pitch on the corporate take is a flat idea. You have personality and you have an opinion. Your boy Hendrix Cobb, Harden, Embiid, they're doing just fine being who they are. That's how we seal your endorsements, big and bold. But doesn't that idea risk losing endorsements if I'm seen as controversial? Yes, yes it will. But you'll gain others, others that share your vision and your story. Former football player, Newark, your dad, you're the underdog. That stuff is powerful, so right, use it. contract available for me now? No, I don't. But I will. It's called trust, Junior. Uh, she says she got a movie deal available for me deals? now. Deals? Or ideas where deals may be? I don't know. It seems to me like you should. Big agencies, man, they, they pack a punch nowadays. She may have a little bit more firepower than me right now, but I know who you are. I know where you come from, and I know what you want, as if it were my own story. Fine, if you want to walk away from all of that, so be it. It's either her or me, you choose. I'm gonna go with Archie again, but this time in next gen, they put him on the left as the first option. Listen, uh, things haven't always been smooth between us, but I know you, good and bad. Yeah, I, I, I could dig it. And the fact that you're from here means something. I know I'm making the right choice. Thank you, Junior. I won't let you down. I know you won't, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. You're projected in the lottery. Now, I know you might think you're rock solid, but you can still step out of line. Okay, how so? Eh, bad press. Or anything off court that won't sit right with the GM. You know? You can tumble. Blow your personal workout. Tumble. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's real simple, man. Just be smart. The next step in this process is the same, whether you're lottery or not. It's the personality evaluation test. They put you in a room with an interviewer who asks you a bunch of probing questions about yourself. <laughs> okay, so I just be honest. You know, let them know yeah, why. Yeah, but, you know, be aware of what they want to hear. Integrity, character, leadership. You keep that in the back of your mind when you're answering questions and you'll do just fine. Oh, I dropped him! That's beautiful. That's a great sign. I'm getting ankle breakers in takeover without the ankle breaker badge. Wow. If I can get ankle breakers without 